guys! Welcome back to my channel. For those of you who are new to my channel, my name is Gafi. I'm someone that loves to play with makeup. I love to play with everything fashion, you name it. Today we're going to be doing a get ready with me makeup video. Um, a lot of you guys requested this and I'm glad you have just because I do love makeup so much still and I don't really do a lot of these and I'd love to do more. So um, if you guys want to hang out and just chat for a little bit, see how I do my fresh face for today, then stick around. It's about 5 a.m. in the morning right now. I'm usually up at this time. If I'm working, I'm already at work at 5 a.m. It's my day off so I'm like, okay, I'm going to take time to do a video. I don't always have time to do makeup videos because they do take a little bit longer but because it is highly requested by a few of you guys I really do want to make sure that you guys know that I hear you and I do love making makeup videos it's originally what I've been wanting to do but anyway let's start with the pores be gone matte primer I'm still using this sample here that I got from Sephora just prime my face I usually just prime right in the t-zone that's where I have most pores it's 5 a.m in the morning and it's pitch dark outside. This is around the time I start my day and I start putting a fresh face on so it's not unusual. I'm going to start off with Water Weight SPF 30 foundation from MAC Studio. I like this because it's really light. I don't like to put a heavy face on unless I don't know for some reason I felt like I needed more coverage. I got this a while ago so you want to shake it well. This is something I usually use if I feel like I need to use during the warm weather because it's much lighter. Most of the time I just I'm wearing foundation for videos because my skin looks better. <laughs> I don't need a lot of this so I'm just gonna put some on my hand just like that and then using my beauty blender just kind of dab it on like that. Yeah, it's really light. It's not a lot of coverage, but it's enough. I would say it's just like a light to medium coverage. So the New Year's coming up, and I was thinking about what kind of New Year's resolutions I wanted to make for myself. I have a huge makeup collection. I just keep buying more. I really do want to try going through this stuff and not buy more makeup. I do prefer... The sponge a little bit more. I'm gonna do my under eyes because they are a little bit darker under the eye right now. So I'm going to my usual Tarte Shape Tape and this is in the shade Light Sand. Dab it on my fingers like that. So the first thing that I want to do for 2022 is make sure I don't spend as much money. I want to be better. I want to have a low buy year. I want to save more money. Go through most of my makeup and use them. I'm going to go in with my Kat Von D translucent powder and this is a sample size. I take what's on the lid and just kind of dab it and go under my eyes. Now I'm going to set my face with my Tarte Shape Tape Powder Foundation and this one is in the light medium sand. This is another thing that I bought on a whim a while ago and I just want to get through it so I'm getting better about getting through the product that I have and using them instead of just spending more money and collecting them <laughs> and I like to brush both ways to kind of just close the pores up this is my real techniques powder brush here eyebrows so this is my precise my brow pencil in the shade 3.5 from benefit and I'm gonna use the brush on this and I'm just going to outline the outer corners with this. My second New Year's resolution is to be more organized. I kind of do a lot of things on the whim. I take things how they go and then I just kind of figure out what works for me then. I do want to have like a set schedule and just be more organized about everything that I do. So yesterday I did take the time with planning. I usually just go over my eyebrow with just the pencil. I've been really wanting to try more of a powder eyebrow. I did purchase this with free points from European Wax and they do have pretty decent products like I use their eyebrow gel um, and I use like their moisturizers and stuff and I've been really happy with it like their ingrown hair serums really nice. I wanted to try like a powder finish on my eyebrows just because I think it might give me more of like that natural look. And this one here is in the shade medium. I think I need to get a uh, eyebrow powder brush because this is what I'm going to be using right now. This is the brush that came with this. So I'm going to go in with the darker eyebrow shade there. Kind of fill in my eyebrows. 
So anyway, last night I took the time to just kind of write everything down for my January calendar. Even the littlest things, like if it means I need to set up a doctor's appointment. And then I also want to consistently make videos. I have the videos, I just haven't like edited, edited, edited. I haven't edited the videos yet. I really need to give myself time and it's just a matter of just kind of persevering through that because I do get pretty busy at work and by the time I get home, I'm doing things where I need to do my chores, get organized, clean, all that fun stuff. I feel like if I'm more organized, then the more likely I will get to do more things and put things into my schedule. I think that's okay. This is the brow gel from European Wax that I've been using. I like to set my eyebrows with a gel. This one is in the color medium as well. So I got the base of my face done. Now it's the fun part. Um, let's get into the eyeshadow and all the color, which is my favorite. So I like to start off with priming my eyelids and this will help your eyeshadow last all day. Elf is what I've been using lately and it's like a thick putty eye primer. It's really thick. That's the only thing I would say about this, but it's really affordable and it lasts all day. Put it on my eye and I like to just kind of bring it all the way around close to my brow bone. Because it's so thick, you want to just kind of rub it in there for a little bit so your body warmth can kind of like soften up the putty. See, that's what it looks like there. I got my base on. Now I gotta figure out which eyeshadow palette I wanna use. So I decided I'm gonna be using my Milani palette. This is probably one of my favorite go-to affordable drugstore palettes. It's all matte shades. I've gotten good use out of this but it's all matte shades. I think it's perfect for like the winter season to have matte shades, but you know me, I love glitter, so I'm probably gonna be adding glitter to it. Um, but anyway, this is what the palette looks like. You can use it row by row. If you wanna go for a very subtle like nude look, in this first row here, my favorite is to use this row here. You could go in like have a more dramatic look and use this last row or you could go any way you want honestly i i love this palette the shadows are really nice they do last all day it's really pretty they're my neutral tones i would say one of the things i use is this brush cleaner i use this to reuse my brushes it's perfect for traveling i got this from amazon they give you a case and they give you like multiple like uh, fillers like this little spongy thing in the middle because they do wear out if you want to use the same brush over and over again with different shades This is like a really good one to use and I got it off Amazon. They'll sell it at Sephora for a little bit more I'm gonna start off with an elf brush and this is the crease brush Okay, and I'm gonna use my daily latte Just go over the whole lid with this Take it up to the top as well. Do the second This is pretty used up already. I probably shouldn't be using this brush anymore, but it's what I got right now. It's the E30 brush from Sigma. I'm gonna go in with the same shade and just kind of softly go over my under eye with it. <laughs> I should just throw this away. If you wanna go with like a subtle shade and you don't wanna go in too dramatic, you don't want the color to be super pigmented off the bat, you go with like a really light bristled brush like this. And this is a crease brush from MUA Professional and this is the 315. And I'm gonna go in with this Smell the Roses shade right over here. It's gonna fall a little bit lower than where I put the first shade on. So yeah, I would say around the crease area. <laughs> it's like a nice light soft pink tone. I love pinks and oranges together. Corner of my eye hits. Let's go a little past that. Anyway, those are the like the few things I know I'm trying to hone in on beginning of 2022. I just want to make sure this year I do a lot more things that's fulfilling to me mentally. And that means doing more things that I love and making time for myself. YouTube is honestly something that I really love doing right now. So I'm going to go in with my ColourPop E20 brush. I already put the shade on there. ColourPop's brushes are really nice. It's really affordable. I'll link it down below. I could have easily bought some really nice brushes this holiday season because a lot of brushes are on sale on the Sigma website. They have really good brushes, 
But again, I'm trying to be better. I'm not trying to like spend a ton of money on things that I don't really need right now. When I do these videos, in hopes that you guys know that I'm not trying to encourage you guys to spend money, I do do it because I like doing it and hopefully you guys find it helpful. This is a Sonia Kashuk blending brush. I'm just going to blend the outer corners. So with that being said, I really do want to start making some videos that are like also informative, like my favorite places to shop, you know, as a petite or where do I go and shop for jackets, like more videos just like that. And then also maybe more vlogging so you guys can kind of see what I do outside of work or outside of YouTube, just to kind of show you guys like a little bit of me. I want to always be transparent with you guys. Okay, so this is the ColourPop E4 brush and it's a thicker, more dense brush and it's like a flat brush. So if you wanted to get more like pigment on your eye, this type of brush would be good for that. Um, I have a smaller size flatter brush like this. This is also from ColourPop. Sometimes I use this depending on the look that I want. This one's the E18 flat brush and it's not as dense as this. This one's got thicker like more dense bristles but we're gonna go with this one today because I want to get all of the eyelid and I'm gonna go in with this Sienna Sunset shade and get it all over my eyelid. I'm gonna go back in with this crease brush, go back to the Smell the Roses shade and go over the crease again to kind of just blend everything out. One with the other side. To kind of blend everything out it should all look like it's one color just kind of fading out i'm going to go back in with the e20 color pop brush so again i'm going to just clean it so i could use it again different shade um same sienna sunset shade here just going to go under the eye with this but a little bit closer to the waterline I'm going to go back with the first brush that I went with from the first first shade that I used with this crease brush from e.l.f. My Daisy Latte shade. This is a great way to like correct any of the eyeshadow that you want to fix. <laughs> go back in with my blending brush. You clean it, you're constantly just touching everything up without messing up the artwork you already started. I'm going to put in some shimmer. You can do without the shimmer if you want to stay with a whole matte look. I'm going to go in with a ColourPop Flower Child Super Shock Shadow. I don't know if this one is still in stock, but they do have quite a bit of these shadows, and I love these so much. To me, this is the best option. I like these better than... This is what the color looks like. I like these better than like glitter on a palette. It has like this formula where it's kind of wet but it's not but it goes on and it stays all day and it's very like glittery and I love that and they have like different types where it's more metallic. This is, has been my go-to shade. Just put it on the lid like that and you can definitely build it up if you want something more dramatic. You can. I love this so much. Look at how pretty that is. This is like almost like a champagne kind of gold tone and they last forever and these are like, I don't know, $7. You can get them on sale sometimes and I have different shades of them. And then I'm going to go back in with the same crease brush from MUA. I'm not going to put anything on the brush. I'm just going to leave whatever's on there from what I originally used and just kind of go over. You can definitely just wear it like this, but I want to add a little bit more dimension. I'm going to use my E21 brush from ColourPop. I love this brush a lot for getting like the outer corner of the eye and just kind of getting in to the crease like more precisely. So I'm going to go in with this Don't Raise In Your Voice shade here. This is the last one on this row that I said I love to use. I'm just going to go in lightly and just get the corners of my eye to just kind of have a little bit more depth and it's up to you you could just stay in the corner like that or if you want it more dramatic you can go a little bit closer my stomach is grumbling right now it's a sign i need to go have breakfast that's what i'm going to be doing after this in full glam <laughs> but this is my makeup for the day i don't go back and do anything else this is what i wear all day and i like it 
I'm curious about you guys. Do you guys have any like New Year's resolutions? Um, let me know. I want to know in the comments down below. I want to get to know you guys a little bit. There's a few of you that I tend to hear from a lot on my videos and I really do love hearing from you guys. Going back to my E20 brush from ColourPop. Go in with the same Don't Raise In Your Voice shade just to get as close to the waterline as I possibly can. Don't forget to dab your brush. Get all that excess out so that way there isn't as much fallout on your eye. And I'm just gonna get really close to the under eye. Okay, I think that's it for eyeshadow. Can hear everything this morning. I love it, it's really quiet and peaceful right now. It's like real zen. Honestly, one of my favorite parts about getting early in the morning, it's like my time, you know, like before everybody gets up. This is my go-to affordable uh, eyeliner from um, Wet n Wild. It's the Skinny Tip Eyeliner. It's just in black. I like it because it's very fine. I don't always like to have a thick eyeliner on because my eyes are small to begin with, so if I like put a really thick eyeliner, it just covers up all the eyeshadow that I put on. So I'm gonna start with like a thinner line. Okay, my eyeliner's on. I had to do it off camera. I use two hands. I go like this to put my eyeliner on and I have one little mirror here that I'm using right now and I would use one of my hands to hold my mirror. It's obviously a problem that I need to solve. But anyway, I'm gonna go over with Marc Jacobs Mascara. You don't need to go over your top lashes too much. I'm gonna put the lashes on. It's the bottoms that I like to go over a few times. I do want to experiment on getting some like lashes for the under eye for like real special occasions because it does look so pretty. I just don't know of a brand that has lashes like bottom and top lashes. If you guys know of any, put it in the comments down below because I'm very interested. <laughs> To like push them up so they dry that way if you don't do that or if you don't want it you don't want it to flare up as much then you kind of hold it down a little bit and let it dry in that position because then they'll stay in that position once the glue dries okay next thing i'm using this eco tools blush brush for my contour and my hula benefit i'm almost done like i said i'm trying to get through my stuff I go in between my jawbone and my cheekbone. I need a new one of these too. This is an older e.l.f. brush. Oop. I believe this is like a crease shadow brush, but I've been using this for contour on my nose. I feel like it's the perfect brush for it. That's the fun thing about makeup and brushes you use what you like you put on what you like and just contouring my nose giving me that shape I have like no bridge on my nose so when I wear glasses they fall all the time next I'm gonna go in with makeup geek blush this one's in the shade bliss there is a lot of fallout on this blush blush brush from real techniques you don't need to put a lot on your brush just make sure you dab it before you put it on your cheeks. I tend to go with like a lighter shade, a lighter peachy shade like this. If I have like real dramatic like pink or red like eyeshadow. This is Real Techniques powder brush. Same brush that I use to put my uh, powder foundation on. Just use whatever's left on there and just blend everything together. This is the Aurora palette. It's really old. This one came, This one was so popular for years ago when um, highlighters were super like on trend. And then I have this one here. It's also from Anastasia. So I don't know. This is so unique. That looks so fun. I feel like I'm putting this on my face. This is what I'm putting on my face today. I have so many highlighters. So I have to tell myself, do not buy any highlighters because one palette like this will last you, I don't know, a lifetime. You really don't need so many of these. I got this on like a sale at like TJ Maxx. I think I'm gonna go in with the shade Eclipse here. Just gonna go in with my finger. It's like the last thing I like to do on my makeup besides my setting spray. Put it over 
like that. And I don't like extreme highlight. I just want it to be very subtle. Go in with whatever I have left over on this side. Whatever I have left over, put on my nose. I think I'm pretty happy with that. Here is my all-nighter spray from Urban Decay. It has like the best spray on it. Because this is the kind of thing where if the spray isn't good, it'll be blotchy on your makeup and it'll just kind of ruin it. This one, the spray is so nice and subtle that it like melts everything together and your face looks flawless. Okay, so that's my makeup get ready with me video for today. I hope you guys enjoyed the look that I have. Let me know what you guys think in the comments down below. Um, and if you guys do love watching my videos, don't forget to give me a thumbs up. And if you haven't yet, don't forget to subscribe. Thank you so much again for all of you who have supported me this past year. It has been a wonderful ride and I hope that we can continue this um, for the next I don't know when, but I really do enjoy this. But thanks again so much for all your support and love. I hope you guys enjoy the new year. You stay safe and I will see you guys in my next video. Love you guys.